What's up, everybody? Welcome to From the Vegan Side with Love. My name is Jamir. And my name's Rebecca. And today we're going to make cheesy vegan buffalo blasts. These are all the ingredients that you'll need for today's recipe. And as always, there will be a full written recipe in the description box. Let's get into making vegan buffalo blasts. Take oil and put it in a pan. Once the oil is nice and warm, throw your chicken in there. The chicken should start to sizzle and turn brown. Once it's to the color of your liking, take it out. Use a fork and a knife to cut the chicken so that it resembles shredded rotisserie chicken. You can cut the chicken a little bit thinner if you like. However, it was good just the way it was, but that's your prerogative, so do you. Let's start seasoning the chicken. We use black pepper and then Trader Joe's vegan chickenless season sauce. That's awesome. You should get some. Take your Frank's buffalo sauce and add it to the chicken. You want to mix everything together and ensure that the chicken is well coated. Now, if you like it real spicy, then you can add a little bit more of the buffalo sauce. However, we were okay with the way that it tasted. We like a little bit of variety, so we use two different types of vegan cheeses. We use mozzarella and cheddar style cheese. I'm gonna give you a pro tip right here. Daya Cutting Board Collection has by far one of the best vegan cheeses because it actually melts. You should try it, you won't be upset. So what we did is we took the vegan chicken and we divided it into two different bowls. We then took the cheddar cheese and poured it into one bowl and then the mozzarella cheese and poured it into a different bowl. We stirred it all together. If you were feeling adventurous, and you wanna do something different, what you could do is take the mozzarella cheese and the cheddar cheese, mix them together, and then mix it all together with the chicken. That way, you would have vegan mozzarella cheddar buffalo blast. Wait, that's actually a really good idea. We're gonna do that next time. Better yet, you should try and let me know how it comes out. So at this point, you should have two bowls in front of you. One bowl that has chicken and mozzarella cheese, and then the other bowl that has chicken and cheddar cheese. Let's start making our flour mixture. All you have to do is take flour and put it into a bowl. Use your favorite seasonings in order to make it taste just right for you. So what we did is we took parsley, poured it in there, lorries, and then a little bit of black pepper. We did not measure anything. It's kind of just one of those things where you just have to season it to your heart's desire, and you just have to do your own thing. Once you're satisfied with the way that your flour mixture looks and you can envision how good it's gonna taste, stir it all together and then put it to the side. Take another bowl and throw some just egg in there. Now some water. Whisk that bad boy up. And I'll take over from here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our chicken and cheese down onto the wrapper and then we're gonna go around the edges with that egg mixture because we'll be needing that to seal this up. Now this next part is not the easiest. You wanna take one corner Fold it to the other, and then any excess dough, you want to fold it in to create a nice seal. Now, full disclosure, I wasted a couple of these wrappers while trying to figure this process out, and most of it had to do with using too much egg. So, don't overdo it, and you'll be good, but go ahead and throw that in the flour. Next, coat it in your egg mix, and then put it back in the flour and make sure you get a nice, even coat. Now it's optional, if you want to, you can repeat that process and double coat it, but we don't think it's necessary. We tried it on a few, but I think we liked it better when we just coated it once. And when you look at them, you truly can't tell the difference of which one is which. So just throw it on a paper towel, and you should have something that looks a little like this. Go ahead, dress it up, drizzle a little buffalo sauce on top, sprinkle with a little parsley, and you got buffalo blast. Now add a little bit of green to your plate with some celery. You can dip it in some vegan ranch. I know, I know. We got a little carried away with trying to plate this, but we was just trying to get the right shot, you know? You know how it goes sometimes. <laughs> now I know somebody is gonna do it, so let me get ahead of this before y'all ask me. I don't know how many calories are in each buffalo blast. I'm sorry, cause we just, we wasn't measuring that. But if you do want to do that, take into account how much chicken and cheese you put into your mix in the first place, and then divide it equally amongst each buffalo blast, and you'll have a ballpark calorie amount right there. But let me toss this back to Rebecca so I can go get my grub on. Time out, do you hear this? He's about to eat without me. I gotta hurry up and finish this, cause I'm trying to eat too. 
and it's your turn. That's it, we're finished now. So, if you like what you saw in the video, give us a thumbs up. Comment and let us know what you thought about the recipe. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new content. Enjoy! Sincerely yours, from the vegan side, with love.